What's going on guys? Val Kilmer again here coming back at you with another video and today. We are going to be doing some more 49ers franchise and people have requested a uh, requested a slider overhaul so I've gone into the main menu changed the slider so they actually work the way they should in game and these are the new sliders. So it's made it harder for me uh, and easier for the CPU cuz even if, you know, like other people like Swami plays with these sliders and struggles a little bit um, I think, you know, maybe I'm just a bit better than Swami is, so I've had a little bit more of my way with the CPU, but we've made it significantly more challenging, and, um, I still want this quarterback of the opposing team to take chances, not just check down every single play, um, but run blocking's been turned down significantly for me, up significantly for the CPU, even though it's going to be less realistic, probably, it's going to be harder, and I think that's going to bring back a lot of what people like about the series, uh, we are three and two so far. The two losses, uh, of course, being in CPU games. And I want to kind of accelerate through this season a bit faster. Uh, I've been enjoying it a lot because of players just like this one. Dante Buchanan, rookie out of South Dakota, has really, I don't know, I feel like it seems odd to say, but he's reinvigorated my love of the game in Madden. Very, very fun to play with. Uh, really, really exciting player that we're going to look to get involved here more and more throughout the weeks. Reminds me a lot of an Odell Beckham Jr., coming out onto the scene it just kind of has that like that wow factor and uh you know if he can turn into odell that'd be phenomenal and uh you know people have asked me a lot of questions about what my future is with this team uh because i feel like people are finally investing themselves into the series and i really really enjoy that because i think that makes the series so much more fun for everybody involved and i don't know about jimmy garoppolo man um He's just too inconsistent. I don't see a high enough ceiling for him. He's 27, only an 80 overall. The quick development really hasn't uh, played a huge factor. I want to see what his contract is. And I think a fun part about this series, it's, it's like a happy medium between a rebuild um, and like an actual franchise series. So he's under contract until 2023. Now, that's a long way away. It's 2019. We can't exactly move on from him this season. If we were to release Jimmy Garoppolo, it'd be a monstrous cap penalty of 14 mil. Now, that won't happen. What would most likely end up happening is we would trade him um, to a team for a first round or second round pick or something in that nature so we can actually play with you know, a new quarterback. But that depends on a lot of variables, who we would draft uh, and stuff as we're going to simulate versus the Cowboys and lose again. We don't play particularly well in simulation. That needs to be said, um, as we'll face the Cardinals. But I don't think we're actually going to play that game. They just took their first loss of the season. I'm going to do a little bit of scouting. But there are some players where it really makes you qu question, really makes you think, would we like to draft a quarterback and move on from Jimmy Garoppolo? I'm not too sure. Can we beat the Cardinals? Probably not. We're going to go 3-4. and four. No, we do, actually. We beat them to improve to 4-3. and three. The NFC West is as close as it's ever been. And we're also not going to play the Bengals. A lot of simulating in this episode. I'm just trying to get further on. Um, I think we're going to do this for offensive line. I'm trying to get... Actually, wait. Hold on. Could I think it makes the most sense to do it for offensive line. That's kind of the weakest part of our team. Um, but a lot of simulating in this episode purely because I'm trying to get on to the next season. Um, and maybe a lot of people won't like that, but I think it's probably for the best. Simulating again versus the Bengals. Probably going to be our midseason mark. Coming up here, um, pretty much is 4-4. Four and four, We would be facing the Seahawks. We're not going to play them either. And then we have our bye week. We'll, we'll be, we will be facing the Steelers in week 11. Uh, I think that's almost a given depending on who their quarterback is. Um, but yeah, again, more scouting. All right, can we beat the Seahawks and advance to our bye week off a win? We would, it would uh, be putting us at five wins, and it does not. We sink to 4-5, and five, bottom of the NFC West. Despite being one game out of first place, I guess it's more like one and a half. Uh, I am going to scout again, and we'll look to re-sign Bradley Pinion. All right, let's see what Bradley Pinion wants to return. Uh, we also have to go after potentially Richard Robinson, Jihad Ward. Those are pretty much the players at the top of my uh, my board here on my radar. Bradley Pinion, absolutely. He's unbelievable on his way to being the best kicker in the league. We're going to look to re-sign him. And uh, I'd be willing to offer him... Under two a year to become our kicker for the next seven years. Bradley Pinion is locked up. And Rashard Robinson's an interesting one. Only 24 years of age. 
decent player. Uh, I think we actually... Do we share a birthday? We might. Hold on. I know that seems like an odd thing. You guys will now know what day I'm born. Yep, July 23rd. Um, that's a fun one. Yeah, so we share a birthday. Um, he's a decent player. I would bring him back. I think three years is not too bad. I would look to offer him two, though, and I understand that, you know, we'd have to offer him maybe a bit more to only re-sign for two years. So I would do... I would be comfortable offering him this to re-sign for two years, and he doesn't like it. He wants more than a two-year offer. And then Jihad Ward is decent depth, uh, and I think I would re-sign him. I'll re-sign him for three years, just under two mil. And he accepts. So welcome back, Jihad Ward. Richard Robinson... I don't know. He's a good player. I feel like we maybe could do better. I'm not sure. So the Steelers are 6-3. and three. This should be a good test of our team's abilities because it does. this team plays really, really well in-game. Uh, and their quarterback is Big Ben Roethlisberger still. I saw it. Um, his attributes are pretty good. So this is a quarterback that should be able to play fairly well against us. It'll be a good test of the sliders. It'll be our, our biggest test of the year. And, the, you know, trade deadline's passed. I'm going to upgrade these players. People are still calling for Joey Cummings' head, despite him playing so well. Um, you know, Cummings a bit slow here um, in terms of development, but very fast in game. He's very, very good in game. Very fun to play with. Fights for yards. But people, they're begging for Marcus Wiley. They really, really like him. I don't think he's as good as Joey Cummings is right now, despite being a higher overall. People want to see Walter Wiley. They love the Wiley brothers. I'm just, I'm not ready to make that change yet. Orleans Stark Web buried on the depth chart. But let's go ahead and upgrade these players and then face the Pittsburgh Steelers at home for this 4 o'clock game. So this is the team all leveled up. As far as ratings changes goes, we don't really have much to uh, to share. Sanchez Heaney up to an 84, I think is the most notable all the other ones are uh, plus zero or plus one, if anything. I mean, for Ruben Foster, it's hard to go uh, much further up from where he is because, for one, his ratings are already amazing, and for two, he's going to be in jail. But on that note, let's go ahead and play the Pittsburgh Steelers after doing some scouting. They're 6-3. and three, We are 4-5 and five in Week 11. Not on a great trend. All right, here we are. Brand McManus will start things off, and I don't know, I kind of bounce around from like a commentary style to a actually playing style. Some people don't really like that, some people are fine with it. Sorry if it bothers you, it's just kind of the way I am. So, oopsie. But let's go ahead and try and stop this Steelers offense. Could be difficult with Le'Veon Bell and Big Ben and Antonio Brown and David DeCastro. I mean, they're playmakers. You can talk about them for a while uh, there's that many of them It'll, it takes a while all right third down and two let's shut them down here to run a levy on bell we can wrap it up that's up the middle shed the block reuben foster big number 69 jamar wiggins brings him down uh and by brings him down i mean drags him forward for like six yards so not great Man, Ruben Rosser's 97 block shield feels so fun. What doesn't feel so fun is Jamar Wiggins bringing every ball carrier who tackles the length of the field. Like, just, you're, like, 800 pounds. Can you just, like, look at him. He looks massive on the defensive line, considering we have, like, three guys who are 6'7". But if we could bring him down in the backfield, that would be fantastic. All right, third and four. Let's shut him down. I don't like this camera angle at all. And that is so open. <laughs> Antonio Brown might as well not even be covered at all. Because I'm not sure that he was. I think, yeah, we just didn't have a zone there. Big Ben's running, and he has nowhere to go. Aaron Lynch. Surprisingly, the only guy that continues to get pressure on our defensive line. He's been having his way with right tackles all across the NFL so far. And, uh... We haven't really had much going else from the rest, but that's a screen. That's awesome words. Fall. Can't even speak, dude. Third and 19, though. They might be out of field goal range after these last couple, uh, last couple of plays. We can shut it down here. 
We just need to play, you know, great football. Shut them down. Third and 19. Let nothing get open. Big Ben's running. Big Ben's running. That's a fumble. Ball's loose. Somebody recover. Of course not. Come on, man. I don't even know who forced that. They're going to punt, though. They're going to punt. We'll see how the new sliders play. It's going to take a little while to see. Um, but, you know, decent run blocking. I mean, our offensive line continues to get better every single week as we get XP and we can upgrade their run blocking and pass blocking and things like that. And Joey Cummings is very, very good. He fights for yardage. Um, okay, shit, shit, shit. Jimmy G's open. We're just going to step out of bounds. I do not want to get tackled from behind by Stefan Tewitt. Actually, I suppose getting tackled from behind is the least of my concerns with Stefan Tewitt. Uh, but we got the first down regardless of that. That gay joke, I guess. Was that what that was? I think so. Oh, A was open. I'm going to throw it away. Ah, don't bother. Just hold on to it. Even after your arm comes all the way forward. And I said, throw the ball away. <laughs> Why bother? I also want a more mobile quarterback. Jimmy G just doesn't have what I want. Because our offensive line isn't fantastic. As we're going to find Dante Buchanan for a gain of uh, 8 or 10. 9. Alright. So, not what I said. Dicks. Alright, third and three. See if we can get somebody open here. And that it is George Kittle. First down. This doesn't really look like a good front to run on. So we're not going to do that. I have no idea where Dante Buchanan is. His stamina must be like 50. Because he is never on the field. But Kalan Adkins is. And Kalan Adkins is open. Trucks over one. First down. I'm honestly super surprised the Steelers didn't manage to get up any points. But I'm really not complaining. Dante Buchanan's back on the field. I don't know what their safety situation is like. I almost want to streak him. But, I mean, they haven't been able to cover the drags. And still, Dante Buchanan is wide open. We're just going to step right on out. Jimmy G, perfect on the day. We are threatening here almost inside the red zone. We'll see if Dante Buchanan stays on the field for more than one consecutive play. And he does. It's motion over Josh Gordon then. Oh, that's wide open in the flat. Nice pass. Fucking, ah, nice. Awesome to have a great quarterback. I feel like I just want to keep forcing the ball to Dante Buchanan. He's in a one-on-one. -on -one. What are you doing, Janu? We'll take another look at it. Take a look at this. All right, so they had a design blitz here. I think they were going to send five. Um, yeah, Bud Dupree came in, like, looks like a read of the right tackle. I'm not even sure what that would be in the game, but he backs up first like he's in coverage. Sees that Trent Brown is a fucking moron. Looks like he was in, a, in the read of Joey Cummings here. I'm not sure what that setting would be. And then look at what happens here. Not only is Trent Brown borderline mentally retarded, Jonu Smith also is. Look at this. Trent Brown's like, yeah, somebody else will get him. Jonu Smith is like, ah, somebody else will get him. There's nobody else. Got destroyed off the left side as well. Jimmy G fumbles, and the ball is right back in the hands of the Pittsburgh Steelers. Oh, great throw. Derek Winfield is not very uh, coverage-oriented. We got to work on that. Can't rush the passer. He's very athletic. He, he, okay, he's somewhat athletic, um, and he has good tackling and block shedding and things like that. But he can't go after the passer. Or no pass rush moves. Has no coverage at all. And uh, that was really exposed there. Nobody jump off sides. Let's just stop him. Oh, that's so open. How? And oh my god, Antonio Brown's gone. See, how are your sliders, Bangle? Still, the game, it, it happens. It screws you up. Again, we're going to take another look at this because I love complaining so much. Let's look at Quan Alexander, who is responsible for this touchdown. He's right here. In coverage on Antonio Brown. And granted, that's not a great matchup. He's covering him. He's covering him. Big Ben's rolling out. Quan Alexander. As soon as Big Ben starts to throw the ball, he's like, D Maybe I'll go after the quarterback. Like, fucking... No, Antonio Brown now is wide open. Broken tackle. Uh, Willis Burnine can't wrap up Antonio Brown. We Hunter Slider's bangle. The game's still gonna screw you. It's... There's nothing I can do. There's no happy medium, unfortunately. It's either too easy 
and we can actually win or impossibly hard because nobody does what they're supposed to do literally all madden takes what players should actually do and they're like and every couple of plays you're going to be stupid as anything and not going to do your job it's like oh and the cpu will take advantage of it every time sack fumble that should never have been a sack and then of course touchdown on a broken tackle after a blown coverage but we're back on offense <laughs> we're, we're happy we're happy dante buchanan's wide open no one can cover him he's too good how do we make one miss we're gonna juke back to the inside broken tackle there from dante buchanan would have been awesome that is still a gigantic gain to the rookie nearly 50 yards there on the catch and run made possible by dante buchanan so we're gonna get the outside with joey cummings that's an easy first down he's just way too fast it seems like far too often i develop tunnel vision while playing quarterback it's not great we're gonna try to take a shot at the end zone here and i'm gonna throw that ball i didn't mean to lob it john who make the catch that would have been awesome instead we're gonna settle for the field goal what is going on what are you doing dude i swear we're gonna dive and make a tackle on jet okay dude big ben seven for 720 yards and a touchdown in our secondary or at least a cornerback really isn't all that bad we were in a huge blitz there and willis burdine just could not man up jesse james and he was so close the pass was just like right over his head i don't know if he even knew it was in the air uh either way did not really work out for us at all and uh yeah i mean we're containing the run pretty well we have one of the best front sevens in football i would say so that's a positive all right third and seven Big Ben uh, threw one away out of the back of the end zone, so that was his first incompletion on the day. And uh, he's going to roll out now. We're going to send one at him, and that's a sack. Big Ben, I think, thinks he's Russell Wilson. Obi Melifon was going to sack him. Tackle him? Did I say tack? I'm not really sure. Uh, he sacks him, though. Forces a field goal attempt. Let's see if we can block it. Yeah, got it. Because I want... I want Dante Buchanan. I can't. No, nah, I can't. That's annoying. Uh, we're just going to call the play as is. And Jimmy Garoppolo is going to break a tackle. And get sacked. That Every PA boot in this game is awesome. Because it lets you take a hit immediately. I don't know why I called it. And that play should have worked out beautifully. Because uh, they ran an overload blitz from the other side. So in theory, that should have been wide open. And that was exactly the right thing to call on Ryan Shay's ear. Uh, suddenly jolts in front of the pass and takes it for six. So we did. All right. Take two. We can't throw anything in the flat because Jimmy Garoppolo will miss it. So he is now Fran the man Tarkenton. Doesn't get the first down. Gets seven though. And they were, they were well earned. All right. What throw can Jimmy Garoppolo actually make? That one? Oh, he does. Josh Gordon holds on. We can still score before the two-minute warning. We just really haven't uh, gained any yardage lately. So that's great. If Sanchez Heaney could get open now, that would be fantastic. He has fantastic speed. Uh, and we're actually going to throw that ball. Oh, my goodness. That would have been a great throw. Somehow did it off my back foot. Not ideal. And it's thrown out of bounds. But Sanchez Heaney, he tried hard to get that one never gonna happen Dante Buchanan in a one-on-one -on -one. we're gonna drag Sanchez Heaney and hope that Dante Buchanan can burn him whoa that's a blitz all right we had what a second maybe there to throw the ball fourth and 20 ah blazing what a great two-minute drill by the San Francisco 49ers love it that's a user pick how how is it not literally in my hands man Third and ten. Dobson is the motion man. They're, are they going to hand it off here? They are. Someone tackle Le'Veon Bell, please. I'm not switching on. I don't want to hit, stick, and miss. We're going to call a timeout. Minute and 35 to get the ball back and score. They're going to punt. All right. Let's see if we can move the ball and score. Joey Cummings is open. Uh, no, he's not. TJ Watt's actually going to pick six that one. Um, I'll tell you what I saw on that. And um, you guys be the judge of how stupid this decision is. I mean, in hindsight, tells you it probably wasn't the best decision. Um, but let's go ahead and watch this back and see when I decided to throw the ball. So I see, all right, Joey Cummings is open. I see that. I choose to throw the ball. I try to pass lead to the sideline. Oh, what do you know? 
Joey Cummings has a multiple number of steps on TJ Watt. And if I can lead the ball up here, which is where I want the ball to be thrown, um, that'll be fantastic. Nope. Line drive, laser, and pick six. That's my biggest concern, is they never lead to the open spot the way an actual quarterback would. Uh, so we're down now 24 to three. Completely, well, completely deserved as well. Oh, it's great. Fantastic. I need to just throw the ball to Dante Buchanan. I think maybe on drags, as that has been open all day. Um, oh, we're gonna have Joey Cummings there. Just catch it, just catch it, just catch it. All right, awesome. Positive yardage. I haven't seen that in like a full quarter of play. We're back in this one, boys. Even if we score, we'll still only be down by two touchdowns. I mean, we're in the driver's seat. Oh, I want to throw that slant. I do. But I'm going to wait on it. I'm going to throw it on the run. Sanchez Heaney's too fast. He got a great block from Dante Buchanan. We've got a touchdown. All right. All right. We're not, we're not out of this yet, okay? Speed kills. Sanchez Heaney shows it there. And uh, we actually do manage to kick the extra point. <laughs> it's a great day. Great day? What? And that is halftime. Only down by two touchdowns. We get to return. It's very feasible we can come back and win this game. Very feasible. That's a fantastic kick. Nah, got him. I'm bringing that back. Here's Walter Wiley. Get to the outside. Break a tackle. That would have been awesome. Returns it to the 35 from the other 35. Could have been something there. We were working our way to the outside. Just got tripped up a little bit. We have uh, more yardage than them on the day. Haven't been able to do too much with it. Too many mistakes. Too many turnovers. As Joey Cummings has nowhere to go. All right. Second and 10. I like these one-on-one -on -one matchups. I'm actually going to air it out here. <laughs> Just kidding. It only takes about, I don't know, four or five hours to throw the ball after you press the button. Third and 15. Might just have to stick to drags and slants and things of that nature. They're the only things that work. Oh, Josh Gordon open on for a post. Nah, <laughs> nice throw. Oh, I love this game. Third and four. Got to shut it down. We're covering that. And that's a sack. I don't know why Big Ben thinks he can keep scrambling. DeForest Buckner brings him down for his fifth season. You know, that's good interior pressure um, for a guy like DeForest Buckner with five through, what, ten games at this point? We were going to try a screen. I'm going to change it up. I just like the one-on-one -on -one matchup with the streak. And Dante Buchanan hasn't beat. We're going to throw that on the run. Dante Buchanan can't hold on. The ball, of course, underthrown from Jimmy Garoppolo. I don't need to say it, but you guys need to know. That's what an underthrown ball looks like, a.k.a. Madden 18 if you've never played before. Let's just run the ball on second down, see if we can get a first somehow. Oh, Joey Cummings. There we go. That's what a run should be. Shoot the gap. Fall forward, third and one. He's fumbled five times this season. Uh, not exactly ideal, especially in week 10. And we're going to get shut down there. That's going to be, what, fourth and two from midfield. 63-yarder it would be. Is I don't Can I check what the wind is? I wish I could check the wind from the start menu. Um, we might go for this here. All right, here we go. Fourth and two. Shoot the gap. Cummings falls in the back of his own lineman and is stuffed. Uh, 63 yards just felt like too long for a field goal. Uh, I don't know what the wind is. It was only two yards. Couldn't get it done, unfortunately. Throw the ball. Throw the ball. Step in front of it. Somebody catch it. It's Aaron Merritt, the free safety. The cornerback turns free safety. We got the ball right back. His first ever career interception. I think that's what I just heard. Good for him. What are those linebackers doing? We're going to run at him anyway. Here's Joey Cummings into the open space. First down. He's having a great day. He's just so explosive. Averaging five per carry. Play in the playbook, we don't necessarily utilize too much, but we got a playmaker like Dante Buchanan, very, very fast and elusive. He's a higher overall running back than he is a wide receiver, but he plays wide receiver and showed you why just there. <laughs> just kidding, there was no blocking, there was nothing we could do. CPU's running cover for a drop show too, like his first month of Madden. 
online, head to head. Come on. Every time I audible to a run, they bring everybody up. Spin back, Joey Cummings. There's a flag. Of course it's a hold. You already know. All right, second and 17. There's a blitz. I'm trying to run. Oh my God. No, 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 no. I know I keep doing this, but we're going back to it. You guys need to see the replay. I will tell you exactly what happened. I saw pressure coming in off the right side. I said, I'll run. What is that right there? I don't know if you saw that. It looks small. It's gigantic. I hold right trigger right to the left the entire time. He just stops for a second. Why? Instead of being around VJ Pool and the right end, that little stutter that he does for no reason causes me to get sacked. Or whatever happened at the end of that play. I think I got sacked. I'm not... I don't remember. Either way, I'm pretty pissed about it. Third and 17. Can we get 17 yards? Uh, yes, actually. There's... We're gonna, we're gonna punt, actually, I think. Third and four. Throw that ball. Not that one. Some type of hit stick. Uh, nope, they're gonna get the first down. I'm gonna send somebody after. Oh my goodness, was he over the line? Tell me he was. That would be gigantic. That would be gigantic if he threw that ball over the line. It's actually a hold. So that's gonna be, what, third and 15? Third and 15 from the 40. We should be able to shut him down from this one. We should be able to. All right, first and 10. We're going to go right back to the drag. That is wide open. It's Dante Buchanan. Why don't we do this every single play? Out at the 50, just about. Been sacked seven times. Can't get sacked if we hand the ball off. We're going to have to set him up with a spin move. Oh, Cummings breaks a tackle. Somehow doesn't fumble from that Ryan Shazier hit stick. He's averaging about five. Uh, per play and they're going aggressively for the strip that's interesting to know i don't really know what i can do with that information although i am going to slant sanchez heaney if we can get marcus wiley open uh we might be able to do something here and that's open that's open sanchez heaney holds on awesome we're gonna move into the hurry up here and maybe run the ball under seven to play marcus wiley's in the game that's interesting he's gonna get a, a chance here to run the football and uh, somehow doesn't get tackled, breaks the tackle, picks up four or five yards. We're going to still hurry up. Second and six. I like what defense are in. Um, if we can get somebody open here, that'd be awesome. I'm a throw That's not where I want the ball. Sanchez Heaney can't, he just doesn't go up for the football. And it's intercepted by Ash. I'm picked off for the third time today with Jimmy Garoppolo. So I'm going to break this again down in the replay. Because pass leading does not exist. Even if they want you to believe it does, it does not exist. So I see Sanchez Heaney, um, beat press. I'm like, okay, he's super fast. We'll pass lead him. So what do I do? Pass lead up and away. Top left of the screen. This is where I want the ball, right? Jimmy Garoppolo throws it. Does this look at the angle where I want the football? Pass leads him, basically still on the straight line. And it's intercepted easily. He doesn't even go up for the football. Like, you know, no receiver would ever do. Great game. 10 out of 10. And Ruben Foster falls down. Quan Alexander blows up Le'Veon Bell. He's never going to fumble. Um, because the CPU doesn't. The game's not over. We can still win this here. No, we can't. It's over. Ruben Foster, great tackle. I should probably not even use a Ruben Foster because he's just so good uh, at beating up women, but also, also at making tackles of ball carriers. Third and 11. I'm going to be Quan Alexander on this one. Look at Derek Winfield reading and making a play. They're going to punt. We're going to have five minutes to score three times. I, I just don't see it as feasible at this point, if I'm being honest. All right, let's see if we can get something going here. Uh, Dante Buchanan is going to be wide open. That's a great ball. And that's Dante Buchanan. It's a Dante Buchanan show here in San Francisco. That's all it is. Have I thrown three interceptions to Jimmy Garoppolo? Oh, sure. Sure. But, you know, we found out more of what we pretty much already knew, which is Dante Buchanan is pretty much an elite operating receiver. We're going to throw him another post. Why not? 
He's open. He's good. He's ready to play. And um, he's better than any cornerback that's covering him, it seems. Six receptions, 155 yards. No touchdown for him. But he's going to be open. And we're going to throw him the ball again. We're going to try the hurdle here. Things could have went very, very badly. But why not keep feeding him the ball? He's unbelievable. He's going to be out for this next series of plays, though, I would guess. DJ Love, Trent Taylor in the game. That's gross. Here's Marcus Wiley. How do you not win that battle? Bowl him over. I know his trucking is not particularly high, but fight your way into the end zone. There we go. There we go. There we go. Touchdown, Marcus Wiley. I don't feel like we're out of this just yet. Three minutes and 20 seconds. Down by 10. If we can stop them from scoring, we can, we can do it. But that's, that's the tough part about it. Would we call another timeout? I don't think so. I think I'm going to keep my timeouts. We can't let them score here, though. Cannot let it happen. They're going to pass. That's wide open. That's that's game, probably. I don't know who was in coverage there. Was it me? I don't think so. I think it was supposed to be Reuben Foster's responsibility. and uh, Needless to say, he was nowhere to be found. At this point, we were pretty much relying um, on an onside kick, so we will start to use our timeouts. There's just not enough time to get back in this thing, no matter what. We're going to start calling our timeouts, though. I don't know why I pressed the button. It didn't do anything the first time. It's only about a second that cost. But it will be third and six. If we get a stop, there's a chance. We would need an onside kick, though. Not impossible, just unlikely. And I literally pressed Y, and he just ran past it. <laughs> Dude, this game honestly is so bad. It's so bad. I don't know how I can do the correct thing and then be punished for it. They're in victory formation. That's the game. That's the game. Ran right past it, even while pressing Y. Y is to intercept the ball, for those who don't know. Uh, fantastic game. Love it. They set me up to win, and that's what I do. All day. Terrible game for Jimmy Garoppolo. Um, again, a lot of that is my fault. And some of it is me not understanding the game. And by that, I mean I don't understand that the game doesn't let you do what you want to do. Even though it says, oh yeah, you can totally do that. You can't. Pass leading is a joke on any type of deep ball. It just doesn't work. It just doesn't. Pass leading in any scenario really isn't a thing because when you pass lead i bet they have like set area set areas you can't lead the ball to where you want it to be and they introduce target passing which is the worst thing ever it's impossible to use nobody does it the game's broken that's all i can say it really is i hope things improve for the next year i really really hope that they do as we're going to simulate the week um and um seahawks improved to six and four we're actually probably going to simulate past the Vikings as well. We play the Cardinals. We'll play the Cardinals in week 13. Uh, I'm gonna just gonna scout real quick. All right, five and six, and the Cardinals have actually dropped to five and six as well, because Madden Simulation is awesome. This is a team that was 4-0. They are one and six in their next seven games. We will face them in the next episode. Sorry for me complaining all the time, but I like to do it, so I don't, I can't really tell you. I don't like to do it, but it happens. It, it won't stop happening, most likely. If you, that's not your thing, sorry. But that's going to do it for me, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Go be good, and I will see you in the next one. Take it easy. Shit, don't